Minha Nelly. It's more of a reason why I gotta go hard, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I guess you could say it keeps me hungry and it's like it's like it's like my favorite football team, the Eagles, you know what I'm saying? Like before they got their ring, their first ring, first Super Bowl ring and shit, you know, they were starving like Marvin, you know what I'm saying? People don't even know we had so many chances to get that ring, but we always failed. But we finally got that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? And the good things come to those who's patient. And I mean, I, I learned that a lot of my life, you know what I'm saying, straight up. So I don't look at it as a bad thing. And I'm an optimistic type of guy anyway, nonetheless. But anyway, I don't look at it as a bad thing. It's it's keeping me hungry. It's, it's like it's like, it's like how a motherfucking hamster running on a motherfucking treadmill and shit. And people put the cheese right there to keep that motherfucker running. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's motivating that motherfucker to run. You know what I mean? It might not even really run as fast as it is if the cheese wasn't right there. So, <clears throat> that's how I look at it. <laughs> there I'm in is a crazy caution, you know, especially now, but it's good though, it's growing. I've been checking a lot of new people out, you know what I'm saying? People I never really checked out before. <clears throat> One of them is uh, Young Bands. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he, I fuck with him, man, for real. But the culture that I'm in, I feel like it's fastly evolving, fastly growing. People got a taste for so many things now. You know what I'm saying? Like, so many new things, you know what I mean? Crazy things, but, you know, to the old heads, or you know, like they say, the old heads. Um, and I fuck with my OGs, by the way, they raised me. But to the old heads, though, it's like, man, that's some crazy shit. But it is actually some cool shit. Some of it might be a little far-fetched, but it is some cool shit. But the impact on the industry, though, that it has, and, a, and the impact that I'm gonna have on the industry, I think it's a good impact. You know what I'm saying? Because it's showing the it's showing the industry that you can explore a little, you know, and, and be a little different. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's a lot of motherfuckers out here trying to be the same. I don't agree with that. Because I'm a very different motherfucker. But yeah, that's it. I was a very versatile motherfucker as a kid, man. My mother was like a fucking rock star. So she put a lot of rock and all kind of crazy shit on when I was a kid. But as far as rap, I listened to like old school or like uh, underground rap, you know what I'm saying? Like I was, I was listening to motherfucking Exhibit. You know what I'm saying? Fucking exhibit. You know what I'm saying? Project Pat, Three Six Mafia. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was listening. To, I was listening to Devin the Dude. You know what I'm saying? Uh, motherfuckers like uh, Capone Noriega. You know what I mean? Like I was. I was just listening to a, a lot of old school OGs. You know what I'm saying? For real. I consider myself as a YG, like a young OG or young gangster, whatever you want to call it. But. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was listening to. So from looking at that, you know what I mean, and, and, and seeing what it, what, what's going on now as I'm in it, it gives me a different feel because not only is like everything, every, everything is different now as far as like music goes. Everything is different now. So it, it's still kind of the same politics yeah. a little bit, but as far as like the out appearance, the outer appearance, it's changed. So like, at the same time, though, I don't know if that, that, that a car trying to come up here, but yeah, we can keep that if you want. At the same time, though, like I think that looking at it from right now, at this, at this perspective, I see what's going on, and I see I actually have the vision, and I didn't even know a lot about how these motherfuckers did certain things when I was like younger, how they did their videos and all that stuff, how they did certain things. But now, as I'm doing it. I'm seeing it and I'm perfecting it all the time. I'm, I'm evolving with everything I do. Every time I make a song, I always think about, like even after I do it, I think about what I'm gonna do better with the next song, what I'm gonna do better with the next, next song. So I'm always trying to evolve with my shit. But looking at it now, I see the challenge, like with, when it comes to like how people view your dreams, they don't see your dreams like you see your dreams, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of the motherfuckers who made it, they went through a lot of that type of shit, and I didn't even know that as a kid, you know what I'm saying? Because from the outside looking in, you know what I mean, it looked like they just made it, and they got where they are, you know what I'm saying? But now I see and I feel more of what really, you know, 
really you gotta do, you know what I mean? Like, I, you know what's crazy? My father actually, when I told him I was a rapper, when I told him I was doing my music thing, I told him like, I told him that like fucking, how long ago? Like five or six years ago and shit. So at that time, he still looked at me as a little ass kid, a little ass, well, a little ass boy, should I say. Everybody wanna come up this alley right now, but, <laughs> And he didn't know I, he didn't know I was gonna be doing what I'm doing now. Like I I, I rose a lot since then. You know what I mean? I've, I've I've got I've gotten very far up. So with that being said, now when he calls me, he addresses. Sometimes he'd be like hippie boy. You know what I mean? Sometimes he'd be like you know Graham. You know he called me by my, my rap name. You know what I mean? That's a sign of respect. Like he recognized what I'm doing. You know what I mean? He see my determination and shit. So what I'm saying is like now I'm seeing what the artists that I used to look at as a kid had to grow, had, had to really go through before they got on. I'm going through that, you know what I'm saying? Like people who didn't believe in me and stuff, who thought I was just doing it for the moment or something like that, something, something, to, just, something to just try out or something. Now they still, they, they see me like years later, still not only doing it, but perfecting it more. You know, like now I, I feel as though I'm professional with this shit, you know what I'm saying? I mean, honestly. You know, I'm not no longer doing no rookie shit. When I when I do my music, it's not only mix, it's master. So I just want y'all to know that too. I pay, I, I go the extra motherfucker mile. I, I pay a little extra, but it don't matter because it's all gonna pay off in the long run. It's about writing your music. You know what I'm saying? People think you can just scribble, scribble, dribble, dribble, and, and you know what I'm saying. You got run on sentences and whatnot, and then your fucking shit sound like it's off beat when you put it on the music. You know what I'm saying? So I actually started off like that, to be honest. You know what I mean? It sounded good to me, but other people listen to it they're like, well, the lyrics sound good, but the way you laid it out, it sound like it's like off the flow or off key or whatever. I kind of took offense to it, but I was always the type of person to use like what's was thrown at me. And I always been the type of person to like use it to my advantage. So I, I took it all in too, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, maybe I need to recheck what I'm doing. And what I did was I just kind of like started looking at how I was writing my shit. And then I was listening to the beats and I started learning how to count. I, used to, I learned how to, read, how to read the beat, you know what I'm saying? You can actually read the beat and figure out, okay, ba da 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 you know what I mean, each bar, you know what I'm saying, and all that shit. So you gotta make sure you know how to read the beat and all that shit, you know what I mean, if you really take that shit serious. So I started doing that. I started reading the beat more. I started like making sure all my bars was like under like, under like nine words at the most. I didn't want to put like 15 words on one bar, nine words on the next bar. And then, you know what I'm saying? It's just, that's, that's what made me sound off and shit. So I started making sure my shit was pretty much equal, you know what I'm saying, when I wrote that shit down. So, like, that was the biggest thing. So now when I do my thing in the studio, my shit sound like an actual song now. Back in the day, it sounded like, okay, this nigga just trying it out. It's like a hobby or something to him, or, you know what I mean? You know, but at the same time, I always had the lyrics. But now my shit is more so on flow now. So the biggest thing I, I learned would be how, to, how I was writing my shit, how I was laying my shit out. Then the next thing I would probably say I learned from this, what I can take away from it, is <clears throat> don't let people discourage you and shit like that. Like, that's what kept me going, but at the same time, I, I used to think about, you know, people like my mom, people close to me, you know what I'm saying? My dad, you know what I'm saying? Uh, friends, you know, they, 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 they know I'm trying to do it. They know I'm, they, they know I'm trying to do it, but they, at the same time, they're like looking at me like, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. You know, he, he might be just trying it out for the fun of it or for the heck of it and shit like that. But it's not like that, you know what I mean? So don't let people discourage you. Stick with that shit. That's the biggest thing too. Stick with that shit. If you stick with that shit, it's just like working out. If you actually do that shit for real, like let's say if you stick with the routine, like you work out, let's say three times a week and shit like that, you're gonna see some results. But you ain't gonna see no results if you like kind of slack, do it, you know, sometimes or whatever. You ain't gonna really see many results. So stick with that shit, no matter what people say. People, people gonna say what they wanna say. You know what I'm saying? It don't even matter. Simple as that. I've been through a lot of spiritual shit in my life. That's what made me who I am today. So with that being said, I had people come up to me, I never even known, random people, you know what I'm saying? Come up to me and, and just say, whatever you're doing, you know, 
God told me to tell you, stay on that path. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know why. Like, people just out of nowhere just see some type of light in me. You know, I had, that happened to me several times. And I can tell you a specific occasion, like, I was actually like a little younger. I was like my, my teens, maybe like 19 or something like that. I was rapping, you know what I mean, for sure. And um, I was walking through the motherfucking train station. I was at, what was I at? Right there next to uh, Minnesota. I forgot the name of that damn station. State of Marmory, yeah, State of Marmory. I was right there at State of Marmory Station. And I was walking, <clears throat> getting ready to get off, uh, getting ready to walk up to the station uh, gate and shit. So, lady came up to me and, you know what I mean, she had her daughter with her. And she just came up to me out of nowhere and just like said, you know, God told me to tell you, you know, you're doing what, you know, you're doing the right thing. I don't know what you're doing, but he told me to tell you to, to stick with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just like, and I'm looking at her and I'm like, wow, man. Like, you know, this is crazy. You know what I'm saying? So she said so many things to me, actually, but I can't, you know, I'm so high. Right? I'm gonna be actually, I'm gonna be honest. I can't remember word for word what she said. But I remember it was a lot of good uh, good energy, a lot of good vibes, and it was just things like that that happened throughout my, you know, five to, you know, six years I've been really doing my rap shit, you know what I'm saying? And things like that kind of been motivating me to, and pushing me more. And also, as I started um, evolving with my rap shit, like, you know, recording my shit better, writing my shit better, I started, I started hearing good feedback from that, you know what I mean? People telling me, damn, you know what I'm saying? They, you know, they actually fucking with this shit. So I started getting good feedback, man. So I can't really say, like, you know, bad things happen. The only thing I can really say is some people was, like, discouraging me, you know, based off of, like, how they view me doing it. They thought I was just playing around with it or something like that until they see, okay, now, years later, not only is he sticking with it, but he's improving this shit, you know what I'm saying? Evolving is very important. So I can just tell you, man, like, I, ha I had a lot of good people tell me good, fee good, good feedback on my shit. And not only that, but no people I don't even know, strangers, came up to me and told me, stay on your, stay on your damn track. Wherever you, whatever you're doing, you're going to get somewhere great. You know what I mean? It's as simple as that. So I, 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 really, can't, I really can't say nothing bad, but oh, a lot of good energy has been thrown at me the more I stick with it. So that's kind of like what's keeping me going. You know what I'm saying? Like all the good energy that people were throwing at me and shit. And then at the same time, I, I'm gonna be honest, like I was always an artist. Like I could draw like shit. You know what I'm saying? I could draw really good. So me knowing that I'm an artistic person, I know, I, I believe in myself at the same time. So I have a strong mind and I encourage any artist out there that, that's, that has people, you know what I mean, hating on them or whatever, keep your mind strong, stay on your P's and Q's, you know what I'm saying, research and all kind of shit. Make sure you just, motherfucking do the, do the best you can do, you know what I'm saying? If you feel like that's for you, do that shit. So I stuck with it, people gave me good feedback, that made me stick with it even more, you know what I'm saying? So, hey. <laughs> shit. So, uh, all my music is different, you know what I mean? Like, and pretty much all I do is just put my, my life and my heart into my shit. That's pretty much all I do. That's pretty much all that I do, man, is put my life into my music. So, like, I put a, I put a lot of projects out for free and shit. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm getting into some, in my opinion, more official shit. That's, it's gonna be my start of putting myself on a higher pedestal. You know what I'm saying? And that's my grim project. But, aside from that, all the other projects I've done have been great, they have been awesome. Uh, most of them in the beginning was more so just like, mixed, they never was mastered, but that didn't really matter because the dude that was mixing them, he made it sound good enough to the point they kind of sound mastered, whatever. But like I, you know, as far as my lyrics and everything go, I, I, I revolve with the shit, man. So all I can say is don't stick to the same type of uh, way you do things. Always try to think of how you can switch it up, how you can like spice it up. You know, even when, like when I cook and shit, that's kind of how I figure out, that's how, that's how I feel about my rap shit, It's the way I cook. When I cook, I don't try to cook the same fucking type of meal, the same type of way all the time and shit. I try to like try things a little differently with it, you know what I'm saying? Make it take, make, give it a little more spice and shit, you know what I mean? Cause you don't, you don't want to like get yourself used to that. Cause then you're going to start getting over that, you know what I mean? And that's how, and that's how people, that's how these music listeners are out here, man. When they, when they get attached to something after a while, you know what I mean? They start getting like over that shit. So. 
like, I shifted a lot with my music. I evolved a lot with my music. So all the projects I've done, I've done, what, The Wake Up Call, that was a very awesome joint. Um, that's one of my favorite, a lot of people's favorites. I did this joint called Give It Right Back. That was on my day project. I, I sung a little bit on that motherfucker. I threw a little auto-tune on that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And that's, and that's another thing I do too. I'm not no Drake, but I do a little bit of soothing, you know, a little, little singing, a little something, something, something. But, you know, at the same time, I'm also a rapper. But, hey, I, all I can say is evolve, man. That's all I've done. All my projects down the line. One thing I can say about them too, they all seem to like correspond with the next one. It's like one, it's like a story, you know what I'm saying? Like all my projects, I, used to, I had one project called Three Seconds to Lift Off. Then I had another project after that called In Orbit. So it's like, I went from, you know, I went from almost lifting off or whatever to being in orbit and shit, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's one thing I like to do. I, I like to tell a story and I like, I like to do it in a like, in a, in a, in a riddle kind of type of way or whatever. But that's what make it cool, man. I'm a different type of dude, man. I'm a weird motherfucker. I embrace that shit. Anybody who don't embrace who they are, you gotta don't 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 listen to people who say you you this and you that. Listen, just be the best you can be. Don't be no rude motherfucker. Don't be no asshole. But just be the best you can be. You know what I'm saying? Before I go, I like to motherfucking feed my mind with a lot of music, a lot of good music that I like to listen to. I might look at like some of my favorite, I might look at some of my favorite rappers like Currency, uh, Mac Miller. I might look at some shit they did to just get me in the mood. I might look at some of their performances or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? I might just look at some of that type of shit. Pretty much I just like fuel my mind with a lot of good positive shit. I even look at funny shit on YouTube, a lot of little pranks and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I look at a lot of uh, stuff, even little podcasts, funny little podcasts, just, just positive energy, you know what I'm saying? And then I might get some ass too, I might. <laughs> but, not, but look, aside from that though, on a serious note, I like positive energy, I like to surround myself with positive energy. So I'm just, I'm meditating pretty much before I go. And then when, on the way there, I'm listening to the beats that I want to fucking, you know, record on this shit. I got my raps with me. I'm making sure all my raps are uh, legible for when I get in there, I want to read that shit like fluently, you know what I mean? And I don't want to sound like I'm reading it. That's the way I want to read it, if that makes sense. <laughs> but, um, you know, so pretty much I, got my, I make sure I get my raps in order. I make sure I get my mind right. And I might bring a little wine. And lately, you know, to be honest with you, lately before I go in the studio, I've been eating a lot of Wendy's. I don't know why. It seems like it's like a, it seems like it's like a, a ritual that I do. It's like I gotta have Wendy's before I go in the studio, man. I, I don't know why. I, the first thing I say when I get in the car and go in the suit, go to the studio, I be like, Where, hmm, where's the nearest Wendy's? At? I need to get Wendy's. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't really eat fast food like that. But when I'm in the mood to go to the studio. I just gotta have Wendy's, you know what I mean? I don't know why, like, so, you know, pretty much, I, I, I make sure my mind is cleansed, I feed it with a lot of funny shit, a lot of my favorite rappers listen to their music, look at their performances, uh, you know, then when I get in the whip, I'm looking for some, some good grub, I'm looking for the nearest liquor store so I can give me some wine or maybe some whiskey, some Jack Daniels, some Jack Daniels Honey Tennessee whiskey. That's what I fuck with the most right now. But anyways, <laughs> well you mix that shit with some uh, ginger ale, that shit good as shit. But anyways though, <laughs> um, I think the car won't get um, I've been an artist my whole life. And that's in my that's in my blood, I feel. You know what I mean? It's not just something I just I'm just trying out. You know, I've been, you know, people that know me since I was a kid, that went to elementary school with me. Actually, my friend Keith that went to high school with me, actually went to elementary school with me. You know what I'm saying? For the people that's watching this, that went to my high school that don't know, me and this dude actually went to elementary school together. I know him before he went to high school. You know what I'm saying? Before he went to my high school. But that was my, that's, that's my man. So anyway, like, they know me. They know me as the artistic ass dude. I always was drawn, I always was drawn. So, the thing about it, um, what can I say? I, I fucking, what was the question? I'm sorry, I got sidetracked. What do you, what do you, what do you, 
What's your definition of an artist? Oh, the definition of an artist, somebody that, that really take this shit serious. They they when they not when they when they draw or when they write or whatever the type of art they do, when they do it, they actually love it. They do it from the heart, you know what I'm saying? They expressing this they expressing themselves through whatever they doing, you know what I mean? They expressing themselves through whatever they're doing. A true artist is somebody who does it, in my opinion, from the heart. You got different types of artists out here. But a true artist is an artist who does it from the heart. They, they, maybe they might feel a certain type of way, some type of uh, uh, day, or they might be going through something and they might want to draw it, or they might want to write it, or they might want to sculpt it, or whatever. And it's coming from their heart. And when they present it to the world, the world can feel that energy they put into it. You know what I'm saying? And not only that, but a true artist is somebody who sticks with their shit. They stick with their shit. They, they, they believe in it so much that that's, that's keeping them like on it, like a magnet, you know what I'm saying? So an artist is somebody that don't give up on what they believe in, you know what I'm saying? Somebody who, who takes their dreams serious and they believe in their creations. They, 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 they love what they do, you know what I'm saying? They love to create. An artist is somebody who loves to create, whether it be construction, sculpting, painting, you know, they just love to create, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I consider a true artist and an artist in general, in my opinion. All right, I was inspired by primarily two people, you know what I'm saying? Back when I was in high school and shit, the only two artists I primarily listen to, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, is Currency and Mac Miller. So, first and, for, first and foremost, I got on a Currency before I got on a Mac Miller, but it was all around 2009, 2010 when I was getting hip to them and shit. I got hip to Currency looking at MTV Jams one day. That was back when like everybody was listening, just looking at MTV Jams. It was always on people's CVs, you know. They showed all these videos, all these compilations, and you know what I'm saying? So I just seen this dude, Currency. Had no idea about him prior, you know, prior to that. And um, this is back when I was in ninth grade. And so I'm like, damn, that's a cool ass dude right here. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I can see the realness in his eyes, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, I fuck with this dude, all fucks. So I just started jamming to more of his music. And a lot of his mixtapes, I was just fucking with it hard, you know what I'm saying? And before you knew it, I just started writing. I just started like kind of doing my own thing. Some of my friends was writing and they was rapping. And I used to kind of, you know, laugh at them, not, not like in a bad way, but I used to like, when they used to be in the hallways and stuff doing their thing, I used to be like, man, y'all have funny as shit. Never thought I'd be doing the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Never thought I'd be actually rapping too. But before you knew it, man, Currency got me into that, that, that mood, man, my man Currency. Then I got on to Mac Miller. And the funny thing about it is, I feel like Mac Miller and Currency represent me well. Mac Miller has that, that, that hippie fun, you know, cool side, and, and, and he could be a little crazy too with his rap and shit. Then you got Currency, he got that cool, calm, and collective side, but he could be a little explosive with his raps too. And the same thing with me, which is why I chose the name Hippie Boy Grum. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, Grum is something dark, and the hippie is something bright, you know what I'm saying? And in life, one thing I learned about life, by the way, <laughs> I gotta get into my preacher shit. One thing I learned about life, you have to find the balance into everything you do. You can't be too hot, you can't be too cold. You can't be too nice, you can't be too much of an asshole either. You gotta find the balance in between the two. You know what I mean? So I feel like I'm a, a good mixture of a lot of things. And the fact that my mom used to play a lot of rock music when I was a kid, that inspired me too. She had me listening to motherfuckers like uh, Marilyn Manson, Evanescence, uh, Avril Lavigne, and all kind of wild shit, you know, pop music, all kind of stuff. I literally grew up off of that shit when I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? So that that right there took a toll on me as well. And shout out to my mom, man. She uh, 
See, I really appreciate that shit because I, I got a, I got a, I got a widespread uh, knowledge on the, on the, on, on the rock, you know, game and stuff. Like, it's, it's a lot of rock artists that I fuck with because of her, pretty much. But she got me exposed to that. So now I'm not only look, looking at rappers and stuff. I'm looking at like rock, sometimes heavy metal, depending on who it is and whatever. But I pretty much go for what sounds good and what I can relate to. What what can what can soothe me when I'm going through specific feelings when I'm mad or sad or angry? You know what I'm saying? So my mom, with her rock music and all that shit, she she helped mold me into the rap I am. Currency with his realness, with his coolness and all that shit helped me to mold me into who I am too. Mac Miller with his creative shit, you know how 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 he how he. You know, experimenting with different types of uh, music. He sung a little bit on some songs. He did a lot of lyrical shit on other songs. He did like club bangers, you know? So all that stuff kind of like really inspired me a lot. And I could relate to them a lot. So I make music that um, I think a lot of people can relate to. But at the same time, I make music that I can relate to at the same time. It's very important. I don't fake none of my shit in my songs. It's always about how I feel what I go through, and who I am, which is a very divine person. <laughs> Dion Millie.